Hey guys, real quickly I thought I'd show you a little uh, quick tip for the clone source um, or the cloning tool really. I want to take some hair that's right here and place it over this area right here. I covered a hole up and it's a little bit blurry so I want to kind of put a little bit more texture in it. So what you want to do uh, is bring up your clone source tab. And if you don't see that in your window, just come up here and click on window and a little drop down will come up and just make sure clone source is checked and when it is this thing will pop up so what we're going to work with right here is just this little rotation tool so we're going to sample a piece of hair from where we want but if you can see the hair is, is uh, angled downward from the sample area and then we want it to go upward a little bit so we're going to take this little rotation tool if you hover your mouse over the icon of the little angle, you can uh, click and drag, and it'll it'll uh, change your rotation of the image behind underneath it. We're gonna go to about 2.8, 4.2. Okay, let's try that. Um, you can probably tell I think that's the wrong degree. We're gonna go to the positive. My computer's running a little bit slow because I'm doing the screen recording with Photoshop. By the way, if anybody knows of a good screen recorder uh, that would work with big files in Photoshop and not take up a lot of memory, let me know. Because mine's going crazy. So we're going to go to 3.4. And the positive... We'll probably have to go further than that if we look at it. Let's go double that. Normally when your computer is not super slow, you can just rotate and watch it go pretty quick. So I might have to type it in. That's looking pretty good. And we're going to go to about 7.1. We'll double tap. We'll go to 7.1. Hit enter. I mean, that's not looking perfect, but for the purposes of the tutorial, that's not too bad. We're going to harden the brush real quick. Um, to harden the edges of the brush, so what I do is I hold down shift and use the bracket keys. And you can see the edge right there is really super hard. So we're going to come back one bracket shift. We're going to make it smaller. And mine's just at 50% opacity. I'm going to click right down in there a couple of times. And so if we go down to our clone stamp down here, to me it made it look a little bit a little bit more sharper so there's not kind of a weird blurry area in there. So that's a little quick tip of how to adjust uh, the angle of your clone stamp tool. If you want to clone from one place but want to use the same angle, you can use this little angle uh, tool in the in the clone source tab. So thanks for watching you guys.